Chapter 3 More Basic Capitalizations We use capitalization in all your literary work. In this example, I've given you a book. My son loves loved the book, How to Eat Fried Worms. Keep in mind, certain communication styles differ. Some use initial capital, capital letters in italics and underscores to indicate a title of a book. Remember the words we talked about last time that are not capitalized. Article words are not capitalized. Same thing with short prepositions. They are not capitalized. And also short conjunctions. You do capitalize names of clubs, schools, organizations, and companies. The example I have given you here says the Jubilee Singers will perform at Music Hall. So the word Jubilee and Singers, because that's the name of the group, is capitalized. Music Hall is the official name of the building or the, the hall in which they are going to be singing. Correct the sentence here. The Exxon Corporation now owns the Hyde Park Athletic Club. What should be capitalized? Here, Exxon and Corporation are capitalized. That's the official name of the company. Hyde Park Athletic Club is the name of the club, the official name of the club. So Hyde and Park Athletic and Club are capitalized. Now, Park and Club don't have to be capitalized if it's used in another way, but because it's used as the name of the club or the or an organization or the building, that is that it is capitalized. He also capitalized city, towns, and states. So we're going to look at this sentence here. When you were in Nevada, did you visit Hoover Dam? So I want you to take a few minutes and correct this sentence. Here it is, when you were in Nevada, that's capitalized, the state, did you visit Hoover Dam? Hoover Dam is the name of the site, the, the historical site that is there in Nevada. And so you want to identify its location, its name by capitalizing it. We also want to capitalize streets, roads, avenues, and buildings. So Cindy, she lives at Bay Towers near Golden Gate Bridge. So if you look at this sentence, you need to determine what needs to be capitalized. Here it is. Bay Towers is capitalized. That's the name of the building. And the Golden Gate Bridge, which is, again, an historical landmark. So you're going to capitalize it as well. You also capitalize historic periods and events. Bastille Day is in honor of the French Revolution. Revolution. So as we correct this sentence, what should be capitalized and what should not? Of course, Bastille is going to be capitalized, not only because it's the beginning of the sentence, but because it is an actual event. Day is along with it, so it is capitalized. And also the event of the French Revolution is capitalized as well. You do capitalize specific geographical locations. City and state, the country, Africa. Forest Park Zoo is the name, the official name of the zoo, and it is, people know probably where it's located, Lake Erie. Is capitalized. The Northeast is capitalized. It is a specific location. And the West End here in Dallas is capitalized because it is a specific location in downtown Dallas. You want to capitalize specific location, however, you do not capitalize compass directions or location that are being used as part of names. She lives on the north side of the city. That's a compass direction. 
So it's not used, it's not capitalized. This is different if I'm saying we're leaving the Northeast, which is a Pacific location, and headed south this winter. South is a comp compass direction, so it's not capitalized. Northeast is, south isn't. Two distinct reasons why. One is specific geographical location, and the other one is a compass location. You want to capitalize names of courses, and we know that if you use um, like macro macroeconomics, there's macroeconomics, there's different types of economics. So when you reference these, you're going to capitalize it. However, you will write, I'm taking courses in biology and earth science this summer. Biology is common, earth science is common, common nouns, and you do not capitalize them. So let's look at the summary. You use capitalization on all literary work in the titles of books or movies or TV shows or whatever. You also capitalize the names of schools, clubs, organizations, and companies. So here, all of the Career Institute would always be capitalized. You capitalize city, towns, and states, and you're already familiar with this. You also capitalize street roads, avenues, and buildings. So if in the address you have directional east, west, north, or south, within the address, you have to capitalize it. So we're going to go to 2635 East Lancaster Avenue. But guess what? When we are saying we're going to go east on Lancaster Avenue, we're not going to capitalize the east this time because that's mm -hmm. compass directions. You capitalize historic periods and events, including the word day. So Independence Day, Mother's Day, Father Day, you are going to capitalize the day as well. You also capitalize specific geographic location, and we stated this before. In the summer, we live in the northeast and reside in the south during the winter. Don't forget to capitalize names of courses. These names of courses you want to capitalize, and that's it.